Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back with an update. Um, with this update here, I'm showing you the results of you know my capacitor bank and how it's been running. And right now, the system is is drawing about 18.7 amps, and the battery state of charge, or I'm sorry, the uh, depth of discharge is 100%, according to the uh, 200 amp hour uh, rating of my batteries and this just shows right here that these uh, nickel iron batteries here these nickel iron batteries are actually under rated if you charge these batteries up to with a higher charge rate um, you get you get a, you get more capacity so and this is the voltage of my capacitor bank as you can see it's just about ready to shut off, okay, because it's at 18.9 volts, and this is ref a reflection of the battery bank. Um, so it's 18.9 volts, and this Magnuson is still running. It's running all of my 120 circuits. I ran this thing all night long. I started around 9 o'clock at, at night, and right now it's roughly 6.05 in the morning. So from 9, 8, from 9 p.m., to 605 this morning as you can see right now my battery bank is at zero percent all right zero percent full okay and uh, let's take a look and according to the trimetric it says it's 19.2 and uh, and it's still pulling a, a steady 18 amps zero percent and 18.9 uh, volts as for all my capacitor bank. So the end result, uh, folks, is the fact that this bad this capacitor bank actually did work, uh, just like I wanted it to. And not only that, but the suggestion that um, that I received from uh, Philip over at Guns Games and, and Racing about taking that 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 AC capacitor out of my circuit out of my setup from, from my refrigerator did pay off. It paid off, you know, and, and huge benefits. And that saved me an additional 15% capacity on my nickel line batteries, 15%. So that little 15% allowed me to run from 9 p.m., I say again, 9 p.m. at night to just, just, on, just uh, after 6 a.m. in the morning. It's probably 6.05, almost 6.10 now. Um, but anyway, you two, it, yeah, the capacitor bank works, the batteries work uh, for longevity. Yeah, that right there, you will never see that uh, with uh, lead acid batteries. You will never see that. Okay, this is 0% full on the trimetric. I mean, I couldn't fake that if I wanted to. Um, so anyway. And again, you can see it's steadily, steadily declining, and more likely, it'll probably get down to 18 volts and shut off probably around close to seven o'clock. Um, so YouTube, um, you know, I, I, you know, the only thing that that ran all night was my refrigerator, my freezer. Um, I had a fan on, uh, and yep, here it is right there. I'm getting below voltage, okay. So the trimetric is actually saying, "Hey, you know, you're <laughs> you're about done, dude." Yeah, there we go. It's 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 dropping now. It's at 18.7, 18.6, and I'm getting my below voltage warning on the on the trimetric. Okay, YouTube, I'm really really excited about that. Um, I you know the problem at you know at the time was my refrigerator was kicking on and, and my freezer was kicking on and, and I was getting premature shutdowns. So I explored the idea of a ultra capacitor bank and with this ultra capacitor bank, it, you know, it, it worked um, just like I wanted it to. And with a friend's help, uh, again, with Phillips uh, saying, hey dude, you really need to take that AC capacitor out of your, uh, out of your setup because it's consuming power. And the numbers, the numbers from the uh, kilowatt meter proved it, and that saved me an additional 15% capacity. Um, you know, so hey, folks, it works, outstanding. So again, for you folks out there that don't understand what what this video is about, this is a 
results update for you know my capacitor bank which I installed um, and for, if, for anybody that wanted to know what the results were what the results were my system ran from 9 p.m. Uh, to uh, 6 uh, maybe yeah, right now it's about 6 a.m. in the morning or, or I'm sorry no after it's about almost 6 15 now or 6 10 in the morning and uh, all of that time and you, you do the math okay as far as the, the length of time so from 12 and from 12 at night or from 9 um, uh, at, in the afternoon or 9 in the evening till until 12 that's around three hours um, and uh, from let's see, uh, let's see, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, that's three hours. And from 12 to 6 is about six hours. So, you know, that's nine hour runtime. Nine hour runtime. And as you can see right now, the system is about to kick off because it's uh, battery uh, low voltage. So, over nine hour runtime, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, without a premature shutdown from the magnet sign. So at this point in time, I'm going to officially switch back over to utility power. You'll see it switch. I'm saying inverting right now. And uh, there should be a, a kick on shortly that says charging. So it senses utility power. And now it's gonna go into bulk charging mode. Uh, which it is. I'll just turn this up so you can see it. So it, it goes into bulk charging mode. And you'll see the amps jump up. Now, what it's doing right now, you'll say, well, that's climbing pretty slow. Well, that's because the capacitor bank is being charged first. It's, it's climbing. And you'll see my capacitor bank slowly rising and the batteries being charged as well. Alright YouTube, take care.